Hey everybody, Dave Blinder from EXP Realty. Thanks for showing your interest in learning a little bit about Garden State MLS, our uh, primary multiple listing service for Morris County, hopefully I remember them all, Sussex County, Somerset County, Union County, Warren County, Hunterdon County, and they'll have listings from a few other regions as well. Anyways, um, so you're about to onboard or you already have with Garden State MLS. So you go to gsmls.com, you should be assigned a six digit Garden State MLS ID number, you should set up a password, and then you're going to log in so we can see the members only side of Garden State MLS. We're now within. Great, so you're a realtor, you're on board with the MLS. Well, what now? One of the primary functions of using any MLS is to look for homes for sale for any active buyers you're working with. So on Garden State MLS, where I usually start out is on the search drop down menu over here. And I almost always begin on advanced search. That's a, a good option. And I primarily am using res or residential. Um, our other options here could be multifamily. Not a whole lot of multifamily options in Morris County, a few here and there. Land, mostly undeveloped land. Commercial, business. I don't know that we have a ton of business listings on Garden State. Uh, rental properties, that could be uh, residential rentals or commercial rentals, and a couple other searches I really don't use, honestly. Anyways, we're going to dive into advanced residential search here and take a look. You should be coming into a blank screen. I'm going to clear out the uh, search criteria I was working with prior. And how we get started here is we really begin by going down the fields on the left-hand side. And you can begin doing that in order. First, you always start out with your counties. You're required to select counties. I think you can select up to six at a time. But let's pretend I'm looking for houses for sale for a buyer in my hometown in Denville and Morris County. So I would click on Morris. Again, you could search for multiple. Um, now, the status of the home, if someone's looking to buy a home, Coming soon and active are very good fields to look for. Uh, the other ones under contract continue to show you could look for under contracts, not so much if they're a buyer. Uh, there are purposes for looking at these other criteria, which we can go through later. Sold is, is used often, but that's usually when you're looking for market data or uh, preparing a CMA report or evaluation. So we're not going to pull up sold listings for a buyer. Town. These are in alphabetical order by county. You can select multiples. You could select all of them. You could also use the not field and just eliminate a couple of them if your buyer has given you that criteria. Also, as we go down our list here, we'll see our, our criteria uh, developing here on our left side. I'm skip town code, don't need to enter that. I'm gonna drop down to bathroom. In realtor world, um, we don't enter half bathrooms as 0.5, we, we actually enter them as 0.1. Because what if you had two half bathrooms? That doesn't equal one, so we could do, we would have 1.2 bathrooms, whereas each bathroom is, is noted as a 0.1. So we're gonna set our sample criteria as 1.1 bathrooms, meaning one in one half bathrooms. Um, second, the half bathroom is often referred to as a powder room. Um, continue going down here. Many, many, if not all buyers have a criteria for the minimum number of bedrooms they need. Uh, let's just select three here. In all of these fields, you could also enter a maximum if you had a reason to do that. I'm not doing that right now though. Dropping down to list price as we kind of go down our fields here. I'm going to search below $500,000. Nice entry point. A lot of first time home buyers looking in that range. Um, we don't want to exceed anyone's pre approval. We want to send them homes that are pertinent to them that they can afford. Now, I will set a minimum price because I want to avoid any uh, real fixer upper houses, any teardowns. Probably don't want to send out any flood zones unless, it's, unless that person is actually looking for a fixer upper, as some of them could be. I know that uh, homes in uh, Denville, New Jersey, three bedroom homes, really are not going below $300,000 unless they're in very, very poor shape. 
So I'm going to eliminate those and find the houses in better shape. Good. So here's our criteria so far. I'm just going to enter one more field on the left. There are many, many fields here. Um, you could spend time getting uh, comfortable with all of these. I'm not going to go through that. Today's video is just a primer. Well, you can also search by alphabetical over here. So let's say you wanted to find garages, you didn't want to scroll down, you can start typing it in. That comes up, and then you can go to the fields. The next important field I use quite a bit is property subtype. And I'll show you why that's important. It can be hard to find a list, so I'll just type it in. And here we can select between uh, condos and townhouses or single family homes or both. So I use this search criteria quite a bit. Uh, most buyers are looking for one or the other in my experience. So I'm going to type, I'm going to click on single family homes only here. So we've got a nice beginning search criteria. We can let that rip now and hit the search button to see our oh, list price not valid. We've got a invalid symbol there. Let's correct that. You can go back to your search fields and edit them just by clicking on the uh, criteria here. Now we'll hit the search button to see what our results look like. So we've got 13 records or houses for sale in Denville. Um, we can click on the MLS number to see the details. But it is important to note the statuses. CS is coming soon. That means it can't be showed today. Uh, the for FSD on the listing here will be the first showing date that is possible. You can do a coming soon period for uh, approximately 10 days, give or take, I believe, in Garden State MLS. You'll see A for active on most of the other um, statuses here. However, the asterisk indicates that home is now in attorney review. An attorney review does mean an offer has been accepted. Uh, the attorney review period often lasts approximately three to five business days. It's not limited to that, though. While those buyers and sellers have their real estate lawyers review the contract, during that period, generally, um, more offers can be looked at and potentially accepted, uh, but that depends if the seller is still going to show the home or not. So um, these homes may be a little less available than the homes without the asterisk. So you should pay attention to what does have the asterisk because an offer has been tentatively accepted, although it still could be fair game for an offer at this point. So you could just click through the ML to start bringing them up. And you can flip through, next, 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 to view them all. That's how you get through those. Um, you can look directly at the pictures. You have the addresses. It'll tell you if there's an open house scheduled, style of home, days on market, basement, garage, bathrooms. Again, we're seeing these point ones for half bathrooms, bedrooms, number of rooms. T, I'm not really sure what that is. Tax report, okay. Don't know if I use it that much. Number of pictures. Um, also, if there are any attached documents, you'll see that under media along with the pictures. I don't know what that is. Um, so you can click on the individual pictures here. You can look at any accompanying documents uh, right here. The, the PDFs are linked. You can download them as you need them. You'll often find a lead paint disclosure or a... Um, seller's disclosure property information here on Garden State MLS as well. We're just going to close out of that for now. You could um, save the results right here if you wanted to. You could email out all of these to yourself, to a client if you chose to, or selected ones. A lot of other options. You could view some property stats on these. I don't know if there's going to be a whole lot of statistics on uh, homes for sale. You could print them out in various report forms as well. We could take a quick look at that. Um, usually we're going to most often distribute the client full because it has a lot of details. Uh, agent full is for for us only. We don't email that out. It has uh, information about the different agencies and commission and stuff like that. Um, Vertical report is a concise uh, report for me. Take a quick look at that. I use this uh, at times for providing comps. It's a nice kind of linear format. 
my print dialog is slowly going to load here. So it just kind of lays out these listings in a linear fashion, um, which can be a good way to present data at times. I'm going to close out of that for now. You could hit an email window here. You can. I would recommend you save your contacts to Garden State MLS. You're not uh, continually um, entering someone's email address manually all the time. You could just save them in here. If I just start typing in my name, I'm already saved. So you could do a read receipt, enter a subject. You can choose what style of uh, reports you want to send right from the email screen as well and just hit send. Um, you could copy yourself too, which is a nice option. We're not going to do that right now. And we'll just do one more type of search. Oh, let me show you one more thing before you do that. We can save the search too. So if this is our buyer's criteria, we know we're going to be running this search a lot. We could um, save the search here. And we can attach it to our contacts as well. Uh, there are, we could also set up recurring automatic emails. We'll save that for a different um, video. Just trying to get through a quick primer today. Some other ones. What if we wanted to look up some market data? So this is what's active. What if we want to know what these three bedroom, one, one and uh, one half bathrooms are selling for? In that case, we're not going to be looking at the active listings. We really want the sold listings. And let's say we only want to know what the one and one half bathrooms are selling for three bedroom, single family homes in Denville that were listed between 300 and 500,000. When I'm doing the market data, we call these COPS uh, market uh, comparables. I'll often enter the closing date as well. We want the most recent, most pertinent data. Uh, ideally, you want that in less than six months as the market is ever evolving. Uh, so we're in July now. Let's go for something more recent. Let's look at the, the stats from April 2021 onward. Let's see how many records we get of sold three bedroom, one in one half bathroom homes that were listed below 500,000 in Denville uh, that have closed since April 2021. I'll hit the search. So there are only three houses that have fit that criteria so far. We can see their final sale prices on the right. Minus means it's sold below the list price. Plus means above. This one sold for exactly list price. That does happen. This is how many days on the market it took to the offers were accepted. We could run some nice stats right from this screen. If we select all and then we hit the stats button. That'll bring us right into um, our property statistics. We could print these right here. Uh, it'll give us our average if you're uh, getting into your analytical mode here of what these uh, three bedroom, one and one half bathroom homes are selling for. Percent sale price versus list price. We can see small sample size out of three homes, but on average, they are going for a little over the asking price and days on the market. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Okay, let's see if we can get through any more quick tidbits here. Let's take a look at my profile and see if there's any goodies I can enter here for you. Great, this is what I wanted to show you. Your brokerage should automatically populate as you join MLS. They know what brokerage you're with. Um, your mobile number should be entered there. Make sure that's correct. But I do like to set my uh, oh, Office Direct Fax. Okay, what does it want there? One second. XXX, one, two, three, four. I don't know why it's asking that. Let's put a one in front of that. Maybe that's what it wants. I have no idea why it's asking me for the Office Direct Fax. didn't save the change, not worried about it. Anyways, we're gonna head over to our signature, which is a nice way of branding ourselves as a professional. You can see my safe signature, it goes out from all of my emails from the MLS. Uh, so people know my qualifications and how to reach me. I have my title as a real estate agent, EXP. I do have our mailing address. Um, 
I don't believe we have to do that for compliance um, for our email materials EXP, but it's a nice bonus. You always do have to identify your brokerage. You always have to have your cell phone number and you're always required to enter your office number as well. So you can see I have my office extension here. I've got my homepage and a little saying, uh, kind of requesting people refer me to their friends and family, which is always nice. Uh, once that's done, you can, you can have multiple email signatures uh, and then you can do save, save and continue, start over. So that's all I wanted to accomplish in today's video. If you have any questions or comments about using Garden State MLS, uh, let me know. Uh, this is for all of my sponsorees uh, and mentees specifically at uh, EXP Realty, but I look forward to helping others out there. Uh, if you want information on joining EXP uh, as a realtor yourself, please contact me directly. Um, you can find my cell phone number and email address below in the video description. Thanks so much.